there's an important business term that business owners and entrepreneurs need to know, and it's TAM, T-A-M. And it stands for total addressable market. And so if you were doing market research and you were starting a new endeavor, you're asking how much potential in this market is there? This is why they might say the, you know, the health and wellness industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry and you get the specific numbers. This is why it's interesting that the creator economy Forbes said, um, was valued at, at the beginning of the year at 20 billion and it's estimated to be 104.2 billion by the end of 2022. So that's five X growth. So you go, okay, like, in my case, actually being an individual that serves creators, it's not like I'm working on the typewriter and the PC is about to come here. We're literally in a wave. <laughs> this next decade is going to be the best decade on YouTube and in the creator economy in general. It'll continue to evolve from there, but no doubt about it. Like we're in a moment. So that's that's your market saying that. I think it's important to consider, like you said, if there's a lot of competition, that's a lot of times a good thing. And then your second question, though, is there it is possible for there to be saturation. That's why the book, The Blue Ocean Strategy is important. That also could be a positioning of uh, their where do you position yourself in the market? Because different is better than better. But all that to say is that it's not too crowded. Like for if you're listening to this and even if in all your research, you probably are still just doing mental gymnastics to like keep yourself from really just stepping out and going for it. it like in a in a six, seven billion people on the planet world and because of the Internet with like half of those people now, it's like literally four billion are on the Internet with at least mobile devices like there is so much abundance and potential. And I like to think about it like this. You know, I grew up in Seattle. Coffee is major in Seattle. Starbucks, home of Starbucks, Seattle's best coffee. And on every corner, there's also an espresso stand. And, and one reason why is because people are commuting to work and there might be two across from each other because it's gotta be the easy right turn in and the easy right turn out. They're not gonna cross traffic during the busiest times. So if you think about it, you could look at one thing and say, man, should I open up a coffee shop? There's already coffee shops everywhere. But what happens? is there's always new coffee shops. Why? Because people drink coffee. It's kind of mm. like, should I open up a restaurant? I don't know. I think the, I think the food market, people eating food, but food is tapped out. I don't know if people are going to keep <laughs> eating food either. It's tapped out. Thanks for watching Mark Savant Media. Here we're going to help you create a better content in less time and turn that attention into income. If you love this video, you're going to love these videos here. Click the one. Me and my team specially selected this just for you. Click the link, check out the video. I'll catch you here next time on Mark's Vault Media.